So on this video we're going to be talking about suboccipital release, um, which is majorly on the neck, the upper C1 and C2, mainly for relieving pain on uh, neck and head problems, headaches. So after the patient has um, picked up her hair and it's out of the way, you want to be able to have free motion of her head and you want to rest your forearms making sure either the table is high enough for you not to be bending over and having good posture. You want to be able to hold on to the head as a cradle. Now we're doing passive stretching on this patient and the patient has to be able to just fully release her head so she has to give it to you so it could be better to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to weigh we're going to work our way from the trapezius and the sem semispinalis capitis all the way up until you feel a little squishy part of uh, between C1 and C2 right in there and you're just going to hold like a cradle for about a minute, a few seconds. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And after you hold for a couple seconds, I'm just going to lower the neck and massage upwards. And just work up that trapezius all the way up to the occipital. And now you do it again, hold on for a, se a couple seconds. And you continue on. You could either do this with lotion or without lotion. It works either way. Is there any way this could be replicated if you don't have someone to help you at home? Yes, you could actually do it yourself. Um, you would have to, you could either use a tennis ball, which works really good on those areas. Um, I wouldn't use a golf ball, it's too hard, but if, it, if the tennis ball is uncomfortable, what you could do is wrap it up into a towel or a pillowcase and then that prevents any um, discomfort there. Now for this one, you could actually do some passive stretching of the levator scap. And then you could see where it's pulling on there. And then you could continue on with the exhibit release. To finish off, you want to just stretch upwards and slowly just release the head and that is how you do a self occipital release Good. So this is great for anybody experiencing headaches um, or tight yes. muscles in the yes, upper traps the, or...